Guys, it finally snowed, and I'm psyched. Now I gotta get some wood. All right, so I got all the wood, and I think I'm gonna put it away in a little bit. Lydia's coming, she'll be here in like an hour, but for now, I think I'm gonna take the quad out and play with it in the snow a little bit. Look at that, destroyed dirt bike. Look at that thing. If you guys didn't see the last video, go check it out if you wanna know what's up with that thing. Uh, there's nothing wrong with it, but yeah, let's get on this thing. How was your drive? How many times did you almost crash? None. None? Just two? Did you fall asleep at the wheel? No. No? You're doing it all wrong. I just finished killing a snowman with my ATV. You built a snowman? I, I made two then... today actually. <laughs> Hey, you already woke You're up. You're awake. Hi. What are you recording? What? Yeah. I'm recording you. Oh, right now? Yeah. Oh, right now? Yeah. Okay. Alright, I know this video has been super weird, but um, I'm going to do a quick uh, GoPro review. I got the new Hero 5. So, yeah. um, It's not going to be anything crazy. Um, I'm just going to... I'm not going to do any like video comparison. But I'll just talk about it and my first thoughts. Um, if you guys are interested in getting a camera like for Christmas or something, I don't know, maybe this will help you decide what you want to get. So, yeah. Um, also, sorry that the video's schedules have been kind of weird. I know I posted last Friday and today's Friday. Um, but next week, they should be back on track. Um, I've just been busy with school in the holidays. Playing with the lens cap. <laughs> um... So, yeah, uh, I got some good news coming up soon. Yeah, so stay tuned. I got a haircut and I shaved. I probably, like, if you go back to the first frame of this video, or, like, the first, basically, yeah, is it the first clip? I think it's the first clip. I got, like, a beard and my hair is way longer. But, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get into this GoPro review. All right, so I got the Hero 5 here, and uh, I haven't really even recorded anything with this camera yet. But I went through some of the features and got familiar with, like, the settings and stuff. And so far, I like it. Um, if you want to turn it on, it's either this top button, which it's just, like, a one button, which uh, as soon as you press it, once the camera turns on, it will just automatically start recording. But the actu if you just want to turn it on, it's the side button. Um... It's got the touch screen on the back with all your settings. Let's see if I can turn this down where you can see this better. 
Um, but yeah, it's really easy to change all the modes. It's just simple. You can click on the screen, like if you want 1440, then you can change your frame rates and all that. Um, I do like the voice controls. Um, there's quite a few that I think there's like a list of like 20 or so, but it works really easy. Um, like GoPro start recording and it records. GoPro, GoPro stop recording. GoPro take picture. GoPro take photo burst. GoPro take burst. Am I out of focus? Yeah. Takes a while to save the burst. Um, what's it doing? GoPro stop recording. Okay, there. And then you can tell it to turn off as well. GoPro turn off. Yeah, so the voice control is pretty cool. Um, makes the camera really user friendly. Um, you don't really get a hassle with it. When you're out in the field, you can just talk to it, <laughs> which is nice. Um, things I don't like. I'll just turn this off for now. If you guys want me to do like a video comparison, let me know. Otherwise, I feel like there's enough of them out there where you guys can just look it up. But if you guys want one, let me know and I'll do one. Some of the things I don't like about it is uh, they changed the charging port. It takes a different cable. It looks more like this. It's like a little like flat bar compared to the micro SB. So now you need this specific charger for the GoPro, um, for the 5 at least, which kind of sucks. Um, you also, if you want an external mic, you have to change the mic port, or like, the adapter. I mean, this kind of looks like it would fit in there, but I'm pretty sure I read some... No, it doesn't. So you got to change the mic adapter as well. Um, so that's just more money you have to buy after if you're looking to do this. They also changed the battery. The battery is a little bit different. I'm not going to show you guys, but compared to the 4, it's a little different. So they also take specific batteries. Um, what else? I do like that it's waterproof without the case. So just like this, you can go swimming with it, and uh, you're not going to have any problems. I think if you are planning on like going diving, I think they still sell a waterproof housing. Because that's only rated up to, I don't know, I would maybe, I think it's like 15 meters, I don't know. I'm going off of all guesses, so don't take anything I say seriously. <laughs> research, <laughs> do your research. <laughs> um, what else, what else? Size comparison. Oh, where is that? The GoPro. Hero 4 is a little bit smaller, um, but when it's in the case, this actually beats it. Um, I mean, how I just said, it's already waterproof, so and this isn't. So you're gonna make get a little bit bigger size right off the bat. But I do like that you'll get better audio since it's not in the case. So I'm pretty interested to see how good uh, these mics are gonna work. Um, I do like the replaceable lenses. So I, th I don't know, I couldn't figure out how to take this off, but I know it comes off somehow. Still gotta figure it out. But uh, I'll just show you what they both, what it looks like in the case. Cause you can't really mount this to anything, you can hold it. But if you wanna mount it, you need this case it comes with the camera but that's what it looks like nice and simple um, they're they're about the same size either way in or out of the case but this one's just a little bit nicer because you can get the audio while it's still protected from all the water and whatever it's waterproof it's it's nice <laughs> I was happy that I will, when I first saw this, I was really hoping that this door comes off. Because I was like, oh, if I'm going to use it for motovlogging, when I plug my mic in, I'm not going to be able to put it in a case if this door doesn't come off. But it actually just comes right off, just like that. 
which is nice. The bottom door where the battery is does not do that, but the side door does, which is nice. I was very happy that they did that. And then it just slides, oh, just slides right back on. Come on, oh, come on. Broke the GoPro, just kidding. There. Oh, battery's dying. <laughs> But yeah, that but yeah that that concludes my GoPro review. Um, so yeah, mm, hope that helped. But uh, I got class in about what time is it? Half an hour. So I got to get out of here. Um, and I will see you guys on Tuesday. I upload every Tuesday and Thursday, or at least try to. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching. Um, I'm trying to think what else. What else? What else? What else? I don't know. But have a good day. Peace. And videos will be back to like not randomness next week. So, yeah. Peace out. I'm looking at the screen. This is what it looks like when I look at the screen. See, like, this is way better than this. I mean, if I'm talking to you guys, and I'm just like, oh, hey, what's up? But this is like, hey, look into my eyes. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go now. Okay, bye.